Our goal today is to have this thing running and we will. I promise you, I promise you, we will. I also wanted to show you that I officially have the laziest crew on the planet. I mean, it's, I know it's early in the morning, but these guys are just laying down on the job. I don't know, they didn't get enough sleep last night or what's going on. Five more minutes, mom. So as you can see, Micho is behind me rinsing off the rock and gravel, which is normally the pond guy's job. But since he's not here, Micho's the new boss and he's doing it. <laughs> but with this step marks an incredible milestone in the project, meaning that we are getting ready to turn this waterfalls on. Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. It's Saturday. <laughs> And I've got two out of the three of my kids here with me out at our Palos Park job, having a blast. Matt's not the camera guy, but he is a hard worker and that's why he's out here with me. He also brought his younger sister. Matt has been in charge today, kind of cleaning up, keeping the job site clean. I think he's having fun because, let's, well, let's go show him what you did. What is that? What is that? Well, that's one way to keep the job site clean. Let's go see what your sister's up to, okay? Oh, and what are you doing today? You're doing what? Oh, you're gonna be the operator. All right, Matt, meet us over there by Metro, okay? We're gonna strap up a boulder and set it. I think Mother Nature really, really, really wants us to do this job because it is as beautiful as it can be outside right now. It's 75 and it's middle of November, so kind of crazy. But you can see behind me, we're uh, getting things dug out for the pond. It's gonna be a three foot deep pond. Our bog filter here on the side, so this has all been dug. You can see the notch out for the snorkel and then the centipede, and then we'll uh, get the aqua blocks, our rock and our gravel. Now the top of the bog, what's kind of interesting about this bog filter is the top of the wetland bog filter is actually at that level there, which is about 18 inches below water level. I didn't want to bring the bog out in here, so it's actually gonna be part of the pond, so the fish could actually swim in through this bog area, which is a little different than we normally do it. But it makes the pond look a little bit bigger, and we ran out of real estate. We just didn't have any more room to put the wetland filter anywhere else. The area I'm standing in here should really be dedicated for landscaping, and so we wanted to put it right in here. You can see we're getting everything cleaned up. This is generally how we do it. We get one guy in the machine, and then everybody else just kind of comes and cleans up as we we move out towards the pond. And the other thing we're gonna have to do with this pond, once we get all this dug out, we're gonna have to build a little bit of a ramp over there, just so we can get back in over here to set some of these boulders, because we'll never reach from where the machine's at to get into this wall. So we won't get that back edge perfectly cleaned until we're ready. So we're constantly gonna be folding the liner back to drive in and set some of these boulders first, and then we'll work our way back out.
are back. Another day out here on this Palos Park project. Our goal today is to have this thing running and we will. I promise you, I promise you, we will. Hopefully by sometime around lunchtime. I also wanted to show you that I officially have the laziest crew on the planet. I mean, it's, I know it's early in the morning, but these guys are just laying down on the job. I don't know if they didn't get enough sleep last night or what's going on. Five more minutes, mom. But in all seriousness though, and all bad jokes aside, these guys are really getting into their work today. And Matt, Corey, why don't you guys take two seconds and just explain to us what's happening over here. We got a waterfall coming down underneath this staircase. I'm just blocking up right up underneath the staircase. So once that water comes down this waterfall right here, mm -hmm. we'll get a nice little... White water rapid raceway right. type of thing, huh? Right, right. And then for this area, I'm foaming all in between the rocks. That way the water can sneak through this way and we're gonna put more cobbles on top to camouflage the foam. Nice. And I'm gonna foam this light right in here so that it stays in place as well. Oh, you got a light down there too? Right here, right under the bridge. I can't even see it, it's so well hidden in there, but that light's gonna end up lighting up this whole area down and through here, right Corey? Yeah. Where you're working right now, which would be a really, really cool effect as that water's coming over all of the cobbles and stuff in through here and rushing underneath these step pieces. That three watt light that Corey's foaming into place right there will illuminate this, all that white water, as well as cast a bunch of really cool wavy marks. So you can see we've got already a handful of lights kind of dry set right now. Micho was over here testing some of these bib liners and foamed up areas in through here. Looks like he's already found one area that we need to fix. I believe that's why that's pulled back there and we'll block that area up to get that water to come over that rock. So right now it's just gonna be kind of a little detailed work for the next hour or so. We've got maybe three or four more rocks that we've got to place up top. I'm holding off on this edge over here because it's super close, especially with that gravity feed between that rock and that rock. We just wanna make sure that we're not doing double work over here so we're gonna get everything foamed up and turn these pumps on which will be insane to see because I'm super excited to see what the urns and all the different crazy waterfalls that we built is going to look like but by turning it on what that'll also allow us to do is make sure that we are going to find any potential leaks or low edges along the different sides of the waterfalls and stream up there so we're going to test it out that way before we turn the keys over to the customer we know everything is 100% bomb proof I would rather find the problem than the homeowner find the problem and I can assume that all you contractors and pond builders out there will feel the same way. Ah, maestro. So Micho, what are you doing over here? You're foaming everything to do, what's the foam even do? for the viewers out there. Can you explain it to them? The foam prevents water from seeping through behind the rocks. The reason why I'm using all this fabric over the foam is to prevent it from sponging up and then having trouble covering it with the gravel and stuff like that. behind me, Micho is doing what is normally the pond guy's job. That is rinsing down the rock and gravel in through here, which means what, everybody? We are extremely close to firing up this waterfalls. Cannot wait, we've got probably T minus, mm, 300 seconds until said waterfall gets turned on. Ooh, what's going on here? That's better, that's better. Wow, so, sorry about that folks. Had a little bit of water splattered on the lens. So as you can see, Micho is behind me rinsing off the rock and gravel, which is normally the pond guy's job. But since he's not here, Micho's the new boss and he's doing it. <laughs> but with this step marks an incredible milestone in the project, meaning that we are getting ready to turn this waterfalls on back behind me. So we are T minus about 300 seconds until that happens. So until then, you're just gonna have to wait and view the montage. <laughs> One, 
two. I don't hear anything. Do it. Oh, I hear something. <laughs> you can hear the hum of the pumps. I'm so excited. Oh, baby. 